Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 17 and let's play Diddy Kong Racing. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, we're in future fun land. We're going to do the first course, Space Dust Alley. Space Dust Alley. I find the music here quite interesting. Wait till you hear it. Oh, I didn't get all the boost. I gotta admit, it's pretty catchy and upbeat. That's what I like about it. I really like the scenery. What I don't like are the UFOs that try to shoot you to pieces. Of course, you can fly around them or fly right between the lasers. Either or works. Which is the top path, or you can go to the bottom path, which is more narrow, but it's faster. And, well, a little boost won't hurt either. Well, running into a pillar does. But luckily, you don't have a health bar. Anyways, let's do lap two. As you can tell, this is a very colorful course. You can't go wrong with this. Trust me on this one. I'll take the bottom path again. Because I can. It's there to be taken. Power. Just like your daughter's virginity. If you have a daughter. Moving on! Before we get into awkward silence mode. Let's finish on a high note. Which I'm pretty sure we're already doing, given my stellar lead. Let's keep it up. Actually, I'm gonna take the top path this time. Why not? Might as well get a little cocky. I didn't want that. And of course, this leads to the exact same area. Ah, what the hell, I'll grab the boost and get first place! As expected. Um... How are you breathing in space, and how did you get here? Unless you took the same teleporter that I did, I don't think a flying carpet can go up into space. Dark Moon Caverns. Okay, this course I found a little... annoying, so to speak. Because it can be, well, just look at the course map. That should answer your question. Why I think this was be annoying. Lots of twists and turns. And in dark places, too, and I just turned the wrong way! Not a good idea. And again, nobody plans to go the wrong way on purpose. Most of the time. Sadly, these little twists and turns are, like, really dark. Therefore, they can be quite easy to get lost in. Then again, this place is called Dark Moon Cavern, so I expected nothing different. At least the arrows are a nice indicator. It still doesn't compensate for the sharp turns in some of them. Ah. Uh, Grab none of them. Oh well, at least I still got the lead. Oh. Aww. I was gonna say that for when I was behind. Then I jumped ahead as soon as I used it. This is fun. The courses I don't mind. But the silver coin challenges for these levels, they can be quite a pain. In fact, I have not played this game or all the way through in years. Therefore, I'm just relying on blind luck and a little bit of practice off footage whenever I get the time to do so. Most times, well, like I said, relying on luck. 
for the best. So far, it hasn't let me down. I hope it never does. I'm really liking my chances in this course. Ah, I didn't want to grab that. And I didn't want to use it either. I was in a sharp turn coming. It looks like I didn't really need it. So now I got first place again. Hey, how's it going? Now I got 41 gold balloons. Spaceport Alpha. Spaceport Alpha. I like this course too. It gets a passing grade for me. Not just the course, but the music. It's supposed to be like some kind of epic space base. Music really sets the tone. Yeah, 64. That's nice a little advertisement right there. Okay, this part I like because it does remind me of Star Wars. Like, remember the Death Star Trench? All this was missing was that little small exhaust port. I did not like that sharp turn. Apparently, the feeling was mutual. I missed that. some more bananas if I'm going to keep on to the lead. Great for leverage. And well, getting those speed bursts help too, which I seem to be missing. But I don't like flying up that high. Especially if I gotta go back down. Ah, <laughs> you ain't getting me! <laughs> I'm just like an X-Wing. Yeah. Except I'm flying a plane, and nothing that was used in Star Wars. Though so you gotta admit, if they replaced X-Wings with this kind of plane, it would be pretty epic. Then again, it would also be pretty bad if you get your eyes shot out by a TIE Fighter. Wouldn't be fun. Then again, getting your eyes shot out by anything is not fun. Painful at best, deadly at worst, and well, just got shot down. Thanks. I enjoy being shot down. Moving on. Looks like I got this one too. First place. Is that my own trap? I don't. I don't think so. How come nobody triggers these traps anymore? Star City! In fact, you could actually start the Silver Coin Challenge immediately. You don't even have to finish all four courses. Granted, you have to have enough balloons for it. Technically, I think you did have to finish all these to get enough balloons in the first place. Ah, the same music from Space Dust Alley. And globe, yeah. Ah, the nice little twist turns there, all ninety degree angles. That's what I like. Not. But I have no choice. First straightway before I can use this. There we go. Good enough. Grab enough balloon. I mean bananas. Perfect. At least ten's good. A little more for insurance would be better. Good, somebody trigger that trap. Cause I'd hate to be the one to do it. This is where you're gonna be need needing the sharp turn thing. Or the little skid. Perfect, final lap. So far, I haven't had a single issue in the races except for Dark Moon Caverns. I found that annoying, but still passable. Ah, 
And leave his skid marks like a boss. Better to leave him in the row on the road and not in your drawers. Whoa, whoa! Two mines there. Getting a little hardcore or something? Ah, uh, first place again. Okay, so now I gotta do the silver coin challenge, and as you can tell, I did need pretty much a lot of balloons in order to do it. So I'll stop the video here. Actually, I think I'm gonna do, like, one race. Why not? I think I have enough time to do one race. Given the circumstances. Besides, I finished each race pretty fast. Therefore, we're not stretched for time. Let's try to get as much coins as I can first. Typical strategy. Did not want to get that. Or that. Okay, I miss uh, one tree and I hit the other. Which logic is this? Ah, there's another down here. You guys are so privileged that you don't have to get these. I did not mean to do that. I just tapped R twice. Yeah, I was just testing it out. Yeah, nice shot. That was one in a million. Very ironic that I just did a level that had a bit of a Star Wars theme. Now I said that. Okay, there's one more coin. Well, I can get this one at least. Wait, there's another one that I'm missing. Where's it two? Ah, there it is. There, now I can just finish the race. Okay, once I finish this race, I'll stop the video and do the other three. And then I can go take on Whizpig for the final time. Actually, maybe I should just do the trophy race and then take on Whizpig. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I mean, why not? At least I think you can take on the trophy race and then take on this pig. Unless the other tasks include beating this pig before I can do the trophy race. I mean, if it is, then I'll just beat this pig, then do the trophy race. Either or. Doesn't really matter. Okay, I'll stop in the video right here, and in the next part, we're gonna do the last three silver coin challenges. Goodbye, everyone.